What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Justice Justo, and I am back with episode five of this Pirates franchise. Now, I know in the last video, I kind of left off on a cliffhanger, had something very exciting happen at the end of the video. We now have this young guy, Pete Crow Armstrong from the Cubs. So, this is a very big piece to our organization, piece to the franchise, and he is the future. Now, he's not the only, you know, future to this franchise, but he's a part of it. Also, in the last video, we played a lot with Paul Skeens and Tamar Johnson. Had some great gameplay with them. Make sure you hit the like button, drop me a comment, and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit the links in the description. Follow me on Twitch where I stream MLB The Show. And follow me on my socials. Now in this video, we actually played the Cubs twice. Two series. So, I'm going to be player locking with Pete Crow in that series. But before that series, because it's not the first series in this video, we're going to be simming. So, we're not going to just player lock his first game because I plan on getting more gameplay with him than just one game. Now, here's the lineup. I have him leading off. So, I'm excited to see how he performs as a leadoff. Now, his hitting stats aren't crazy. He's young. Needs time to develop. So, I might have to move him back. But, we're going to see how he do because he's... You know, thrown into a big role immediately on our team. That's a lot of pressure. But it's franchise, so we're going to see how it goes. Y'all see how this lineup looks so much better now that we don't have as many, you know, cold signs on our team. I mean, it's looking good. So, yeah. Behind the webcam, right under... May 3rd, which is May 10th, we had the Cubs. Also, right here, you can see the last game is Sunday, May 12th. So, it's three-game series right here against the Cubs. So, we're going to be making sure we get through that. That whole week, we have Cubs, Brewers, Cubs. So, it is a NL Central week that week. And we also have the Braves, which is crazy because... They play the Braves on my birthday, May 24th. So, that's a wild. That's wild. My franchise team plays my in real life favorite team on my birthday. Um, Of course, I'm rooting for the Braves. But in this franchise, sorry. Y'all the ops. Y'all the enemies. Let's go ahead and get started with the Rockies. We're going to be Sam and Moe's. Um, not going to be doing too many custom game entries. Wow. <laughs> and this is a custom game entry that I would like to jump in, but I'm going to send it. And we won. Let's go. Let's keep it going on to game two. Oh, wow. We got Pete Crow on first. Got Jared Batten. This would be a good situation to go ahead and take the lead. Let's jump in. Oh. Alright, so Jared's actually leading off right now. So I guess Pete's like bad at ninth. Maybe he was on the bench this game and then he came in. Perfect, perfect. Wow. And Pete's going home. Okay, Jared. He might be showing me that he needs to stay at number one. This is the lineup. Yeah, Pete's batting ninth. I'm going to keep this lineup in mind. Going up against Kyle Freeland. Who is a lefty. Okay, so this lineup was against a lefty, not a righty. 
All right, one strike to Juwan Bay. Oh. One one count. Drive. Swung on top of that one. One ball. Good Good timing start. though. We got to get on these pitches. Good no, time. that's down. Ball three. Full count. Full count. Lock in here. He might as well walk him. See, I'm on everything. He hard headed. Okay, I'm hard headed. <laughs> Should have took that pitch. Ball Good four. take, though. Take Bringing in Jake Bird the to face Brian Reynolds. And we still got the walk. Ball. Lock in here. This is a big PCI. Double play. Oh. No. Good timing. It just hit the mound and went straight to short. Hard ball. Oh one. Oh one. One one. I really need a hit right here with Cruz. Ball. Two two. Runner on third. Wow. Tie game, all right. Try to let the team do the rest of the work. Game with the extras. Wow, Reynolds hit a two-run home run to walk off the game. Wow. All right, so two wins to start. This is going good. Now, Pete had three hits in his debut game with the Pirates. Two RBIs, so that's a for sure great start. Next game had a hit, and he scored. So, you know, he, he doing good to start off. Today is scouting day. I'm not looking to make any changes right now. Got a trade here. The Red Sox got Chaz McCormick from the Astros. Okay. For Tristan Casas, first baseman, 24 years old, 80 overall. So good trade for both teams. Michael A. Taylor got injured. Wow. Okay. Out for a few days. Put him on 10 day. And we sweep the Rockies. Let's go. <laughs> All right, moving on to the Angels. Going to keep swimming. Now, as far as my lineup goes with the Michael A. Taylor injury, I'm going to just go ahead and bring in McCutcheon to play right field. Whoa, okay. This is not good. Down five runs in the ninth. We lost. That was game one. Next game, down six runs. Ooh. And we lose by four. Blue Jays have us a trade offer. A C potential 26-year-old that is currently injured for Domingo. No, I'm not. No. Decline. All right. So after sweeping the Rockies, we got swept by the Angels. A humbling series. Looking at this first game, Pete didn't even play. Second game, he played, got two hits, got two RBIs. This game, I think is his first hitless game on our team. But here we go. Next series. It's time to play the Cubs. Let's go. 
Like I said, to play the Cubs, we are going to player lock with Pete. So I'm excited. Let's get it. All right, we're at home. And the city connects. Glad we play a lot. All right, we got Marco Gonzalez on the mound. We out here in center. Got to make this play. Oh, that's not good. He's in. Leading up for the Pirates. The center. All right, so they end up scoring off that. Now we're facing the lefty. Put it in play. Let's go. He ran it out. It was good that he chopped that ball. Because it. Double play next. Doesn't even matter anymore. We end up with a base hit though. That's good. Alright, we got two runners on. Ball. 1 0. Cannot ground out into a double play here. Hey, huh? Strike one. And that's just what I do off the late swing. Oh. Oh. Alright, bottom of the fifth inning. They're up one run. Got to stop swinging late. I do have a runner on first. I think that's Bay. That's the ball. Ball. Two balls. Two one, one count. Ball. That's in. Okay, we have to be smart here and take a walk if he gives it to us. Oh, I put a good swing on that one. Come on, that's off the wall. Let's go. Triple. Nope, double. Double. Be smart. Let's go, man. Game tying RBI double against your old team. If that's not big, then I don't know what is. All right, come on, Brian Reynolds. I'm not going to try to steal because we need to take the lead. After that. Need my teammates to advance me, though. Come on. Two outs. He's up. And we don't end up scoring. All right, here we are. Another chance to make a play. Runner on third. We're going to have to throw it home. Now his arm isn't the best. Oh, my. That's on me. That was my first time doing that. I did not know I was going to have to press buttons. One ball, no strike. Oh, he got that. Yeah. Alright, so now it's my job to hit in the clutch and make sure he scores. Good job on the steal. 1-1 one, one count. Wow. Good pitch. No, that's inside. Yeah, I didn't know what that was. I was not swinging at that. Alright, I advanced him. I'll take Got that. Him. He didn't end up scoring, though. And here we are. In the top of the ninth. I had to get that. Throw it in. All right. I could be the last out. That's crazy. You got to lock in. Ball. It's crazy. We can't end up losing this first game. All right. Do what? Okay. Ground it. Pick up the ball. Pick up the ball. Mm -hmm. Open the fence. That's the ground rule. Go. Next man up. Come on, Cutchin. I did what I needed to do. Do not strike out right here. Right. And that's game. Alright, so three for five with two doubles is not bad at all. Actually, it was a good game for Pete himself. But we didn't get the win. 
Now, we face the Cubs four times when we go to Chicago. So, instead of just player locking all seven games or player locking all these games, and then I'm only going to player lock like a couple games with Pete. Maybe three. I want to player lock some games when we go to Chicago with them. So, I'm going to go ahead do a custom game entry for this game. We end up winning nice. Pete was batting eighth. Ended up getting the hit run and RBI. That's good. Got this prospect fully scouted. All right, right here. We up a run. I want to trust Chapman. Pete is having a great game. Three for four. Man. That trade was so amazing. Like, it's really turning out great for me. I kind of felt like I was throwing him into the fire. But it's looking like he can take the heat. And we end up winning the game. No more runs were scored after that. Sim through this Brewers series because we're trying to kind of sim through May. Top of the eighth with two outs. We're down two runs. There's two runners on. I got to enter this. At least, you know, this at bat. All right. That's scoring one. Oh, he's safe. Let's go. So we down one now. Time. I have to take Rowdy out with that four speed. Sub and Andy. All right, let's go. Let's tie this game up. That's a ball. Ooh. His PCI is so small. And that's caught. Alright. We got a runner on with one out. They couldn't complete the combat. Alright, so we up around. I'm going to sim this. We end up losing by a run. That's crazy. All right, game three. Two runners on, one out. We won. Let's go. And we shut them out. Oh, this game. I'm just now realizing that Paul Skins got the loss. Also with the Angels, he got the loss right here. Oh, man. We got to make sure this Cubs game, I'm a player lock Pete. We have to make sure that Paul gets the win. So we end up losing the series to the Brewers, 2-1. to one. On to the Cubs now. So I'm going to play a lot the first game and then the third game so we can make sure Paul gets the win. All right, so this is Pete's return. Ball one. To Chicago. To Wrigley. That's a ball. Two balls, no strike. Good swing. Just hit straight the second and oh. grounded it. Boy. This game went bad. Alright, we down five runs. It's gonna be a tall task, but not impossible. Let's go. Come on, extra bases, extra bases. Took a great swing. I'm going three. I have to. Yup. No outs. Triple. He's been such a great addition to this team. Ooh, hey, Brian got hit. The left fielder. All right, come on, Brian. Even if you ground down to a double play, put the ball into play. He's out. He's out. Y'all should know by now that I'm a professional at jinxing things. It, it's not that I want to, like, say negative stuff and have it happen. It's kind of hard not to, like, say what's possible. And it just happens to happen. His swing is so good. It's so good. Glad I went. 
All right, two hours. Pay attention. Alright, this game, I was just getting the gameplay in. We went down five early. It almost was guaranteed that we weren't going to have a chance to come back. But, man, are we doing good with Pete. Okay, we on third with one out. I know they can score me. I know you can score me, Brian. He hits a home run. Nice. I love to see home runs when we're player locking somebody with somebody else. That's his 17th on the season. I did not notice how good of a season he's having. And we got to make sure we get a player lock in with him eventually. The pace he's going on, is it'll be the all-star game or home run derby. Okay, last out. Down by one run, a home run would be amazing, but it's tall task. With 40 power, he's a home run shot of the cycle, too. Down two strikes, man. It'd be crazy. One ball, two strikes. Let's just see what happens. So at least he hit on base. Let's go. I'll take that. We want to try to win this game and not lose to a pickoff, so lock in. Oh. Alright, that wasn't on me. That wasn't my fault. So we had 10 hits to their 6. As a team, we have to do better with hitting, with runners in scoring position and runners on base. Just clutch hitting, period. We have to do better. Now, game two, I said we weren't player locking every game. We're going to be player locking the next game with Pete because Paul is on the mound. We're going to try to make sure he get a win, make sure he even up his record to two and two. But we got the win. We won by two runs. Pete did not play this game, and we did good. All right, next game. Pete. All right, here we go, facing Kyle Hendricks, a righty. Ball one. Take first pitch. Swing at the second one. I wasn't on it. Dancing got me out. All right, a runner on second base. Lock in here. Oh, that was my pitch. A scoreless game, top of the third. Oh. Let's go. That should score him. And it does. Come on, man. Let's go, Pete. Stand up, stand up. Let's go. Good hit. This ending could go very well for us. Oh, and he also gets a hit. Nice. Oh, wow. We ended up getting seven runs that inning. If Paul don't get the wins off of this game, I mean, man, he blew it. Outside, that's a ball. Stop saying negative stuff because I know when negative stuff. When I put negative stuff out there, I tend to jinx it. I got y'all, chat. I got y'all. Runner on first, two outs, lock in. That was a good cutter. Wow, I thought I caught that pitch. I was too late on the 12 6. The count's full. Full count really got to lock in here. Perfect, perfect, man. Oh. It don't get no better than that. All right. We got to make a play on our ex-teammate. Our ex-outfield mate, Saya. 
but he grounded it, got a hit, and still scoreless for Paul. Oh, I got under that one. Popped it up. Paul still out here in the bottom of the six. Dylan. We haven't even really made no plays with Pete. You know why they even keep bringing me out for that? That's a ball. Counts one and oh. Top of the knife. We won this game. This game is over. Drop. Let's go. Another hit. Let's go. Wow. Alright, come on, Cruz. Out. And that's the game. Let's go. Paul gets the W and A Ennis. Paul got the W and A Ennis. And Pete had a another multi-hit game so we're doing good that's good seven runs 10 hits put up by pittsburgh at game we dominated their pitching and this game we're looking to close out the series still leading the nl central having a great season a shocking season to me but a great season and the Cubs are actually last place in the NL Central. We up one run, the bottom of the six. We'll go ahead and send this game. We end up losing the game and splitting the series. Wow. But if you put both the past series together, we had a total of seven games. We won five of them. So we're up on them. They only beat us twice. I'm sorry. We won four games. We won two E series. So we're up on them four to three. Okay, so we've been scouting international pitchers for about seven weeks. I think it's time we go ahead and change it. And we spend. Actually, next week we'll change it and spend the rest of the time scouting a different region, but starting pitching. So I'm going to go ahead and leave scouting as is this week. Now, the video is going to continue on. going to send through the rest of May, do the scouting. And yeah, that's going to be the rest of the video. Appreciate everybody tuned in. Now, if you tuned in, drop me a comment and let me know what is your franchise team. If you have a franchise, what team are you using? And how is the franchise going so far? We got the Giants and then the Braves. We are down three runs. I'm going to go ahead and send this one. But they have three runs in the end. So we on a rally. But two outs, it's tough. Yeah, we end up losing the game. They end up getting two more runs. We didn't, I guess we end up getting out in that situation. Next game, we lose by five runs, so we lost the series. We are uh, taking a little bit more L's than we used to. Paul Skeens gets the start on my birthday. Wow. Mitch Keller got this game. He's doing pretty good. We end up winning that game. Good. So we win the game on the 23rd against the Giants. Now, this game... Against the Braves, we got Paul Skins going up against Charlie Morton. I would love to win this game. Play ball. So I'm a quick manage and I'm gonna jump in if need be. We have Paul Skins in the city connects. Ball four, take your base. And they already off to a scoring start. Three. He's giving up two Three. runs. I mean that is a tough lineup. Three. And Brian Reynolds just tied up the game with a two-run home run. Three. 
Tie game. Top of the second. Yeah, I guess some house, man. Three. And that's just what he did. Three. He got out of it. Ooh, he gave up a home run to Acuna Jr. Take your base, ball four. Three, ball four. Come on, loaded bases. And he got out. Three. No. No. Man. Three. Oh, I let him give up seven runs. That's bad. Three. That's very Three. bad. Gotta take him out. This Braves lineup uh, is a tough one. Three. Three. Let's go. Got a couple of those rounds back. Three. 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 Take your base, ball four. That game was not good. Um, I was better off not quick managing. Yeah, that's on me. So Paul ended up taking the loss. That Braves lineup is nasty. And it was proven there. I was better off like doing a custom game entry or something. Wow, look at this situation. Need a out bad. Uh, I don't even know. I simulated it and we lost by three. So we lose the series to the Braves. How shocking. And we got swept by the Braves. And also, scouting day got skipped. So I'm going to play until this Blue Jays game so that I can get the next scouting day. So we're going to play the whole series. Don't hold that Braves game against me where I could have saved Paul and I didn't. Uh, I'm going to do better next time. We lose this game by one run, so we split the series with the Tigers. And the Cardinals have caught up to us. We did too much losing. Did way too much losing. We do play the Cardinals in the middle of June, so they're going to have to see us. But they're going to have to see us on their turf. It'll be in St. Louis. Quinn Priester got hurt. He'll only be out for a few days, though. So he should be back good by his next um, start. And here we go. Paul Skins next game. Man, I need you to win. Oh, I'm jumping in. No questions. Okay. We need three outs. Two runners on base. All one. I gave him a head start with a win, man. Loaded bases. Luckily, all of them are slow. Hey. Hey. No balls, two strikes. Hey. Let's go. Needed that strikeout bad. All right, a double play here would be perfect. No. Two runs. All right, so no quality start for Paul. That's a ball. Because Brian's arm is a noodle. But let's at least try to get out of this situation. Oh, that's inside. Let's go. Strike him out. Let's go. He's out. He needed that play bad. All right, I'm going to try to fight for Paul here. Now, he's not going to be able to win the game. But we can stop him from getting a loss at least. 
I could have tried to go to second, but that was weird. Ball one, no fight. That's outside. Uh oh. Wow, get back. Nah, he can't get back. Oh. That's on me. I hate that I did that. But we got another situation where one out. Gotta jump in. No. Bad swing. Okay. Still got a chance. Lock in. Well, that's one and oh. This is actually our last chance. Oh, that's just out. No, that was right down the middle. Wow, that's on me. And Paul has to take the L for that. Okay, so the month of June is going to be very important. Very important for me to take a look, slow down, look at Paul's schemes, and decide if I need to call him back down. Game two of the series, we down a run. We actually don't have a run. I'm going to jump in. We'll take. <laughs> what a swing. Let's go. Loaded bases. Come on, Andy. Ball. One oh. I shouldn't have swung at that. I'd rather strike out and grind into a double play. Nope. Sacrifice wild. Let's go. Tie game. And honestly, I'll take that from Indy. That wasn't, you know, disappointing. What am I swinging at? Sometimes you look at some of these pitches you swing at and be like, man, what am I doing? Oh. Good take right there, though. Ball two. Ball. Full count. Full Ball count. Four. Let's go. Work the walk. And his manager seen enough. And comes in Eric Swanson for Pete Crow. I mean, pitch right down the middle. It's just, that's caught. Oh, that's not caught. Oh, that's a triple. I don't know why I thought that was caught. Let's go. Oh, that was just amazing. Let's go, Pete Crow. That just changed the game. Ball. One one. Now the score is four to one. We up three runs. That was huge. Ah. Two strike count right here though. Very late swing. He got it. All right, so I'm gonna return the simulator. There's no way, David. Ah, uh, let me jump in. Make sure he gets this save. Ball. Huh. Let's go. All right, one more out. Most important out of the night. George Springer. No, nah, that's not catchable. Ball one. Huh. Two. One ball. Two strikes. One more strike. Pete Crow got it. Let's go. GG's. What a win. The Tigers want to trade us a kill bottle for a Domingo. Now, I would accept this trade, but we have a lefty problem. 
So I'm not going to accept this trade. I may propose this trade later. I might come back to this, you know, before the deadline. But as of right now, I can't do it. We have a lefty problem. Too many. Sucks I had to decline that trade. But today is scouting day. Like I said, we want to move our number one priority from international starting pitchers to a different region. We have about 70% progress scouted. So I'm going to just take that and move on. Now, the next region I'm going to go for is the East. Now, I have to keep in mind that this scout is not super efficient. But his number one thing is pitcher. So hopefully he does us some good, especially for the draft. And we 100% scouted this left fielder. Switch hitter. He might get drafted by us. All right, here we go. Actually, I'm going to change this real quick. All right, game three, last game of the video. We end up winning by two runs. I mean, we end up winning two to one. We end up scoring two runs. Let's go. All right, so that'll do it for the video. When I come back next episode, we'll be in June, and we'll have the Dodgers up first. Thank you for tuning in to episode five of my Pirates franchise. And this episode was crazy. We had Pete Crow Armstrong's debut for us, and he went off. Uh, he went up against his former team, who we have a better record than. We're ahead of them in the NL Central race, but we did lose more this month than we've been used to in this series. We're now third in the NL Central. So, in June... We're going to have to go on a little winning streak. We're going to have to get hot, get the bats hot, get pitching situated. Man, I, I let Paul Skins die on the mound in this video. Next video, we got to make sure that he gets hot because I want to see Paul Skins win. And if I have to, I, I got to call him back down to AAA. And I might have to call back up Domingo. And not trade them. Or I might have to trade for a starting pitcher. Let me know down below in the comments what I should do. As always, make sure you hit that like button. Again, drop a comment. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And go in the description. Follow me on my Twitch where I stream MLB The Show. And follow me on my socials. And until next time, thanks for watching.